What's up guys, it's Jeremy. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for a product that's been out for, you know, quite a few months now. The Alienware Alpha is a, you know, a gaming console at heart, um, kind of geared to towards people that would like to game on their couch using a, a PC. Um, the reason I got this, I have like a mini PC and it's just kind of sh starting to show its age. It's about five years old. So I thought having a computer with an i3 processor and a dedicated graphics card would come in handy. Um, and better yet, I saw this at Best Buy for $449, $100 off regular price. Now you can get it for that same price of $449 on Amazon as of right now. So I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. It's a really good deal. And the box itself, um, I really love. It's got this the startup guide on top, kind of showing you instructions on what to do. If you want to, you know, take the gaming console route, you can just plug the controller in. If you want to use it for a desktop, which I'm probably going to mostly do, you just plug your uh, wireless keyboard dongle right into it, and you're good to go. Here's a bunch of flyers that you don't really care about. You can pretty much get it started. Um, if you need to use the Xbox controller, that will help you out there. And in a way, that's like a really good deal. I paid four forty nine for this, and you know the Xbox controller, it's still about fifty dollars. Um, I'm probably not going to use it, like I said, but it'll come in handy if there's like you know, like a side scroller or a fighting game, or if I want to play emulators. I'm certainly not going to throw it away. It's, it will come in handy one day or another. Um, and that's about it there um, as far as all the paperwork I'm gonna put that back together I can't stand people who throw their unboxing stuff everywhere we gotta keep our life neat, our life neat and orderly gotta put it back in right so I can close it and I wanted to say that I am recording and editing this video on the Alienware Alpha right now and in comparison to my computer that had some crappy AMD you know eMachines Walmart processor from about five years ago it's so much faster it's crazy how computer technology evolves and you don't really you're not even aware about it I like imported 15 minutes of you know video into my editor and it imported so quickly before it would have taken like 20 minutes. I was just impressed. Um, here's the wireless adapter for the controller. Um, keep in mind, real estate's kind of minimal when it comes to USBs on this device. You have two in the front and then two in the back. So, you know, choose carefully. And another thing, if you have standard. Um, you know speakers or headphones you want to plug into this thing it's not going to work out of the box you're going to need an adapter but I'll get to that later um, and here's the cords and everything like that um, it does come with the HDMI cord which is nice because I believe the PS4 didn't even come with one but these days it's like everyone has a box of a billion in their uh, throughout their house and here's some silica gel I'm trying to read what it says, you know, the camera. Gotta love camera, I hate to focus. It says, do not eat. <coughs> mm, that's what I get for trying. It didn't taste bad. And here's just, you know, the standard brick for the, the computer. Um, I know this is like really, really, really wishful thinking, but it would be really cool if this thing had like a battery built into it, either in that brick or the device itself, to where if you needed to move it or if the power went off, it had like a little backup. Um, it uses um, laptop components, so you would think it wouldn't be that hard. But, you know, you can just get a, a battery backup system. And here is the device itself. It's got a CD underneath. But 
who uses those these days. It's all about updated downloads online. You got that Verizon Fios, who cares? And the device itself is really cool. Um, it certainly has, you know, some do you know, some very um, subtle design language to it. It's got like the triangular shaped shapes on the top, and then the little triangle at the bottom. I guess that's kind of like Alienware's thing these days. And here I'm gonna pull off the the plastic for you guys. That's the best part of opening new technology there's a fast one for you it's like pulling off a band-aid and I'll do another fast one for you I think I should make a channel on just peeling plastic off of devices I feel like it would get like 5 million subscribers but I'm poor and can't afford to buy gadgets every single day and peel plastic off of them. And I'm going to do this one kind of slow. Uh, I dropped it. Am I weird? Don't judge me. I like peeling that stuff off. And you know that shiny stuff is going to get all kinds of fingerprints on it, but oh well, it's pretty. And this conveniently segues us to the back of the device, which I did not plan. I'm not that uh, professional or prepared for these videos. So we have the output fans and just a few other ports on the device. From you know left to right, there's where you plug into the wall. There's the HDMI. One's for input, one's for output. Then you have the optical, your Ethernet, and your USB. And as you can see, all the sides are very reflective. If you can see me wave, be sure to subscribe today. <laughs> or not, I don't care. And then there's the on button. Of course, you know it's Alienware. It's gonna light up. It's of course it's gonna light up. And even the plug in the back lights up. And I'm just going to show you the quick setup. On the one on the right, you want to plug into your monitor, which is the HDMI output. So your video is outputting to your device. And then the HDMI um, input is one that you can put another uh, device hooked up to like for example I had my PS4 hooked up to my monitor but my monitor only has one HDMI so output goes to the monitor and then the PS4 goes into the input and that will and that will allow this box to just kind of open up another spot That's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to uh, connect it to the monitor. But, um, so I don't bore you with nothing to talk about. I'm, you know, I'm going to try this thing out. One thing I don't like, which, you know, it's kind of, kind of knowing right out of the box just looking at it. You know, it's a gaming console, so it's going to be bare bones when it comes to things. You know, there's no, um, SD card reader on it, so I'm gonna have to get an adapter for that. <coughs> I'm dying, I'm sorry. Hit that like button so I can get some Ebola vaccine with that YouTube money. Um, anyway, you can't hook you can't hook speakers up to it easily. I'm gonna have to get an adapter for that. Either like optical adapter to uh, analog or probably just like a USB um, sound card I'll get. But you know the USB stuff, like I said, is there's only four spots, so it'll be kind of weird. And here's just some pictures of the devices I'll leave you with. It's very pretty with a reflection. And that's it, guys. I really appreciate you watching this. Be sure to like this video and subscribe today. And I'll see you next time.